some of the devices that add friction kind of like the most basic from a recreational standpoint all the way up to more purpose-built stuff designed and, and meant for for rescue for higher loads the ATC is your ghetto name your, your generic name like uh, if you're in the medical field it's a generic name what it really is is an aperture belay device um, yes you can lower with this but it's not really a, a descender you can you can make it such but it's called an aperture belay device it's not auto locking we plus up to what looks like an an eight or sorry an aperture belay device and yeah it has the aperture belay device characteristics but um sorry let me back up this is also called like a stitch plate maybe the stitch plate is just a flat plate historically but aperture belay device you build upon the aperture belay device and you get a plaquette because the plaquette has the hole and so now not only can i descend with the aperture belay portion and treat it as a descender but i can use the plaquette piece here to convert to an ascension and this provides some kind of more or less reliable kind of auto locking characteristic to it so you can also pin this up against the wall and then belay the the second climber coming up below you and then if they fall this can it'll have this auto locking uh, feature to it which is nice um, so again aperture belay device plus cut and then we get into these i don't have like a standard figure eight um because I, I don't I really don't like them Rescue figure eights are okay, but rescue figure eights don't let me adjust for changes in friction. And like a brake rack is probably like your, your classic descender rack. I don't have one. Great for, for caving. These are basically canyoneering repel devices. So descenders, yes, you can descend on this. I wouldn't want to really use this in a rescue application. But they're awesome descenders because uh, all these horns, I can adjust the amount of friction on the fly as I descend based off of how much weight of rope is below me, how heavy my pack is, and a whole bunch of other factors. So I can add friction, take friction away instantaneously just by increasing or decreasing the number of wraps I have around the horns. And then they're a lot easier to lock off. I, I feel much safer locking this device off while under tension without even having like a, a Prusik, Purcell Prusik, or VT Prusik there to to hold me. I can do that much easier here. Again, these are not auto locking devices at all, but with enough friction, it's, it's very easy for me just to lock off comfortably and then go hands-free. Okay, our devices that have cams. And so all these cams have lever or handles. All these handles do, and I see people doing this a lot where they think, ah, it doesn't work like these handles, all they, all they do is provide leverage so that you can release the cam while it's under full like body weight. That, that's all this handle does, nothing more. If it's not under full body weight, don't use the handle, just manipulate the cam itself. So let's take a look. The Birdie and the Grieger are the same thing. This is just Beal. Uh, so let's get rid of that and just focus on Petzl 1 and relate that to the ID. My Grion's at home. I don't have a Grion, but the Madrop Safeguard is kind of like a Grion. Um, so let's take a look at the, the way the cams behave in these devices. The Grigri is an assisted belay or assisted braking device. Yeah, you can use it in rescue systems. Yeah, you can lower some people out with it. But the problem with the, with the Grigri is that if you look at the cam at rest, like where it pinches the rope to, to stop, it's completely open and it wants to stay open. I have to push and hold that cam up and it violently comes back at me. It does not want to stay put, which is why I don't like using Grigri's in any rescue application at all for that reason. The Grion, which this is not a Grion, but the Petzl Grion, the Madrop Safeguard, similar things, but the, the Grion is more like a, for the fall protection industry. The cam has no spring at all. So it makes a great work positioning device. I can feed rope out, I can wait, and it tends to want to stay put. Granted, it, it doesn't want to flip back and lock up, but it's a little bit better than having an assisted belay device. So assisted belay device is the Grigri. Uh, I'm not sure what I'd call this. Maybe a, a work positioning device might be more appropriate. Um, and also I can descend. I can descend on all these devices, but this is more like for work positioning with some limited descent too. No spring here. Big spring here that wants to stay open. The spring in the ID wants to stay closed. So and that's why we use this more for like organized rescue industrial applications because this is more like a dedicated descender. Let's see what happens if I just hold hold this out and I'm not touching the lever, the handle. I'm gonna like apply some force to this cam and it moves the handle just like that. 
and it wants to come back and close and shut. So it wants to break and lock off, um, which makes it really good for our rescue applications. Granted, it's a little bit bulkier and heavier, um, but that's okay. So like this is, could be like team gear, but if you're gonna go personal use, I would recommend doing something like this. This is great. So I replaced the Purcells with this on the Aztec because then I can also descend as well on my Aztec without having to worry about anything else. It auto locks. Do these Grigory's auto lock? I don't know uh, because yeah, under under load, if you descend with it, it will auto lock because your, your body weight holds this cam in place. But the second like you kick your feet on a perch and you, and you unweight just a little bit, it opens up. And then if you reweight and you're not careful about that angle of your brake hand, you can just fly through. Um, so I, I don't trust these. To say that they're really auto locking, I don't know, it might be a stretch. I wouldn't trust it. I'm not making a bash on the Grigri, it's fine. Uh, I just don't want to use that to rescue. So those are some of the common devices, some ways we can differentiate based off of their manner of functioning.